over their bathrobes. The spotlights swoop back and forth and up and down until it makes it sick to your stomach to look at it. As usual, however, uh, how, as usual, whoever was playing the piano pit away in the manger so high we could hardly hear it, let alone see it. My father says away in the manger always starts out sounding like a possible of mice. But everything settled down, and at 7.30 the pageant began. While we sang away in the manger, the, the ushers lit candles all around the church, and the spotlight, spotlight came on to be the star. So you really had to know the words for away in the manger because you couldn't see anything, not even Alice in Wendelkin's Vaseline dies. After that, we sang two verses of, of Old Little Town of Bethlehem, and then we were supposed to hum some more Old Little Town of Bethlehem, while Mary and Joseph came in from the side doors, only they didn't they didn't come in right away. So we hummed and hummed and hummed, which was boring and also very hard. And before long, it doesn't sound like any song at all, more like an old refrigerator. I knew something like this would happen, Alice Wendelkin whispered to me. They didn't come at all. We won't have any Mary and Joseph, and now what are we supposed to do? I guess we would have to go on humming till we all turned blue, but we didn't have to. Ralph and I McGee were there all right. Only for once, they didn't come through the doors pushing each other out of the way. They just stood there for a minute, as if they weren't sure they were in the right place, because of the candles, I guess, and the church being full of people. They looked like the people you see on the six o'clock news, refugees sent to wait in some strange, ugly, pl ugly place with, with all their boxes and sacks around them. It suddenly occurred to me that it was just the way, just the way it must have been for the real Holy Family, stuck away in a barn by people who didn't much care what happened to them. They don't have, they couldn't have been very neat or tidy either, but more like this Mary and Joseph. Imogene Bell was cockeyed as usual, and Ralph's hair stuck out all around his ears. Imogene had the baby doll, but she wasn't carrying it the way she was supposed to, cradled in her arms. She had it slung over her shoulder, and before she put it in the manger, she thumped it twice on the back. I heard Alice gasp as she, as she poked me. I don't think it's very nice to burp the baby Jesus, she whispered, as if he had colic. Then she poked me again. Do you suppose he would have had colic? I said, I don't know why not. And I didn't. He could have had colic or been fussy or hungry like any other baby. After all, that was the whole point of Jesus, that he came, that he did come down on the cloud like something out of the ama amazing comic, but that he was born and lived a real person. Right away, we had to sing while shepherds watched their flocks by night. And we had to sing very loud because there were more shepherds than there were anything else. And they had, and they made so much noise banging their crooks around like a lot of hockey sticks. Next came Gladys from behind the angel choir, pushing people out of the way and stepping on everyone's feet. Since Gladys was the only one in the pageant who had anything to say, she made the most of it. Hey, unto you a child is born, she hollered, as if it was for sure the best news in the whole world. And all the shepherds trembled, sore afraid of Gladys mainly, but it looked good anyway. Then came three carols about angels. It took that long to get the, the angels in because they were all primary kids and they got nervous and cried and forgot where they were supposed to go and bent their wings in the door and things like that. harder than me of mice and men when you're trying to find the words, okay? So I think what I'm going to do, besides just finding stuff that has to do with the book, okay, um, for the new guys, okay, we read the book of mice and men and then I had these guys build a collage. And we're going to do it basically the same way. Okay, they had to have two, I think three pictures on this, and I'm only gonna did I okay. I'm only gonna make you have two. But what they had to do is they had to get pictures. Okay, and the pictures had to represent something in the book. There is no wrong picture or no wrong word. Okay? It's all what you perceive from the book. Okay? So um, if you read Mice and Men, all I told the kids was, or you guys, was that. I don't care what word you have up there or what picture, but if I ask you the word or the picture, you have to be able to tell me why. Why did you choose that word or that picture for your representation of the book, I guess is how I want to put it. So, for like a mice and men, um, somebody put reliability, okay? Who's is this, anyways? Okay, Dave, is Dave not here? He's not here. Okay, so where is somebody that's here? Okay, what about, who's this? This is yours, right? I let you leave the beer bottle on there. Because they went to the bar, okay? Why did you put explore? Okay, they went looking for a job, okay? Perfect. Hey, okay, all you have to do is be able to say that much about it. Okay, so you just can't pick any word 
out of the magazine and put it in there. You have to be able to explain it to me. If you can explain it to me, it's good enough. Okay, simple? Okay, but I think what we're going to do is, first of all, for our collage, so for when people get done, they can go right to work. I want two pictures. We'll make this one a little smaller because the book was quite smaller, and I think it'll be a little harder to... Uh, to find the right stuff, okay? So, two pictures. So let's do 10 to 15 words. There's 15 words on those ones. And you don't have to write this down. I'll just leave it up on the board, okay? But just as, for instance, if we were looking in magazines, what are some words that we can pull out of a magazine that has to do with this book? Think of one. Christmas, okay, it's all about Christmas. What's another one? Pageant. Hey, pageant. Those are basic ones. It's the words that are in the title. Okay, Angel. angels. Hey, um, okay, kids. 